Hey guys, I hope you're well. It's been a long time. I um, wanted to um, make a little video of my work behind me. But yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded anything in about a month or two. I just felt quite inadequate and like, who am I to be encouraging anyone? Um, but, um, and I've been quite busy with my kids as well, so anyway just dealing with whatever and uh, and this came out of me two days ago after I gave my cares and worries to the Lord one morning waking up and just feeling quite overwhelmed and troubled and I just said Lord help me with this commission because I don't do commissions and uh, yeah I'll tell you the story now I'll show you the picture so I'll put my shadows in the way you can see there Try and show you what it looks like. It's really big. There's a door there. You can see the scale. Um, there's my hand in relation to the lion's hair face. You can see it's very big. Um, yeah. The gentleman who asked me to do it for him, he. Uh, can you see it clear? Try to focus on this. The, the lion's quite impressive. It's very special. Um, then I try to move the chair. So excuse my shadow. There's not much I can do unless I maybe try this. Let's see if that works. Balancing it on my cup at the edge of the table, which is a bit dodgy, but anyway. Well, I hope it doesn't fall over. Yeah, there's my picture me out the way, apart from shadows. Yeah, so um, I was asked about the beginning of December by a friend of mine who I met through my classic cars that I fiddle with. He does my brakes. He was one of the only guys who could fix my brake issues that I've been having on one of my cars. And uh, he's a brother in the Lord. And he asked me, he said, I, uh, I don't know what type of artist you are or how competent you are can you draw this this is how I feel and he gave me a picture of just that line and I don't do commissions I, I, I draw from my heart and if anyone wants to buy one of those pieces I uh, sell them to them and um, so um, yeah I didn't turn them down I, I thought about it and uh, know that I need the income and uh, so three days ago, I just woke up and I just said, Lord, please help me. I know my ability. I know I'm not, I'm not that good like some people might think at all. And I know, I, I know most of the time I struggle when it comes to artworks. I, I wrestle with my pieces. Sometimes a piece never comes out that I want to draw. Or I'm not feeling it in my heart and I wait months until I'm feeling something. There's a scripture which says, um, guard your heart for it's your wellspring of life. And... Uh, yeah, with my whole thing with my wife uh, and the way she treated me two, three years before she left me in 21, I, my, my art just dried up. And uh, this romance, which my art series was based upon, this romance of uh, me dreaming of how I'd meet my wife and where potentially and things we got up to, uh, th that whole thing just dried up and um, drew one lovely piece just after she left. I was surprised that came out even nice and haven't drawn anything since. And um, anyway, so I drew this, came out beautifully, it came out like it, like so naturally, like a child would with a woman. And um, it, it just came out beautifully. It, it really wasn't an unnatural thing. I drew it within about four hours. And it was just st stunning. It, it wasn't a, a struggle, and I, I know Jesus helped me do it. So please don't praise me. That's Him helping us provide for ourselves, and uh, Him helping provide, helping me provide for myself. And uh, I guess it's a lesson I also just want to share. You know, you know, we must trust in how He's going to provide for us in these times that we're in now. You know, the way these. Uh, wicked elites have, have ruined the economy of the world. I think very few of us are, 
have jobs that have remained unchanged from before COVID to now. And um, we're all kind of trying to figure out what the heck to do. So um, I don't do commissions, by God's grace. This came out beautifully. Commit your things to the Lord. He will help you. And uh, don't look a... Don't, don't look at these open doors potentially as as a, as a no like I was like I was in the past um, take them commit them to the Lord and, and see if you can do it maybe that's the direction he's trying to take you I don't know if this is going to open up other doors that the Lord has planned um, and uh, it would be pretty cool pretty nervous about it but uh, anyway to those things you know, cross those bridges when 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 they come i think very few of us are just go through emotions through things i think if our emotions are involved it's a good thing um and uh yeah anyway make yourself a cup of tea or a fresh lemon like my brother did just now freshly squeezed lemon take care of yourself guys i hope you're well i know it's tough um you're loved God loves you, and uh, yeah, and He wants to provide for us. Uh, actually, I, there, there's a scripture I want to share that I don't remember the words of, but it went something to the like of, He wanted to be this blessing for the Hebrews, and the majority of them worshipped idols when He judged Israel, and He said through, I don't know who it was, I think it was either in Isaiah or Proverbs uh, or Psalms, the book of Psalms, he said something to the sort of he wants to be a blessing uh, he wants to be that cool breeze on their back uh, the the cool breeze on their feet leading them forwards and he didn't want to he, d- he didn't give it to them because of their idol worship he they would have accounted that that that, that way making and that blessing and that peace to their idols and not to the lord so um the lord wants to be with us he, he wants to help us he loves us dearly and intensely and we just need to get right with him let him wash our hearts out of lust of uh, malice of envy of of uh, pride of um the pride of life you know where we think we achieve things by ourselves. you know where we self-seeking and envious and jealous and um, what was the other thing? Oh, unforgiveness. You know, we can present a certain image on the outside that people see and they think, oh, this guy or this girl is a lovely person, but God sees the heart and he wants to deal with the filthy things in our heart. You, we can't hide that from him. This is not religion. You know, he wants to deal with the things that Satan has established in the world, which are all these evil things. Uh and um, he wants us to learn the the original blueprint um, you know wholesome things and and but starting off with us being reconciled to him so yeah if you're not reconciled to him just repent of your sins just say god i'm so sorry accept him as your savior i believe you died and rose again and um, and the relationship starts there you're born again and um, for those of us who know him and have got dirtied by our stubbornness or whatever rebellion he's been showing me some stuff recently as well where you know our, he talks to us all the time he says and he shows us how 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 dirty we are inside and and you know why we're struggling with certain things it's not that we're falling it's that we actually have this stuff living inside of us that we haven't addressed and um, so anyway, yeah, he's been dealing with that with me, and I guess that's the blessing behind also going through tough times. It allows us to self-evaluate, and going to heaven is not something that, that we earn by you know any effort of ours. Sanctification, where God washes us and He deals with these dirty things inside of us, is because He loves us and He, he wants us to have His peace and He wants to show us who we really are in Him we were made for him and and by him and for him and uh, people that rebel and don't want him and don't believe in him and what he's done to reconcile us back to himself 
he says they are not his children. They're 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 not his real children. E even though he loves him and made him, he says my children will recognize my voice, recognize their sinners, allow him into their in, into their lives for him to deal with our hearts and he'll change our heart and deal with the root of all our brokenness. And that is a blessing, you know, when you've got someone who loves you so much that, that they want to get involved like that in your life. They don't want to leave you broken and just in a mess. Anyway, um, guys, take care. Please, like I always say, take care of yourselves. You know, if you're going through a really tough time, don't, don't not feed yourself. Don't, you know, go make yourself a cup of tea. Find a brother in the Lord or a sister in the Lord who can take care of you, or you know, join a join 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 a church, and and we need that in these times. We can't be alone. We need we need each other. Like like God likens us to um, His body. He is the head. We are the body. My finger can't live by itself, or my toe. We. There are other members to us, and we are an individual, yes, made in God's image, but God has made us to have companionship. He's made us to have companionship and fellowship, and and we we get elements of that from regular people who don't know Him. We can get love from them, but you know we need to find people who are in the same in the same place as us and will help us spiritually and will be with us through tough times you know so yeah anyway guys take care uh, please make some food for yourself and a tea or a fresh drink um, and uh, and like I said try and see the opportunities that God provides for you this new year okay bye guys much love God bless